Welcome, my friends, to Adlisberg and the continuation of our story about Dr. Junkenstein and his bride. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but hello, everybody. Welcome back to Overwatch 2. We get yet another Halloween event. It's a continuation of... Uh, uh, the Dr. Junkenstein event that uh, we remember. It's, a, uh, <laughs> It's, of course, you know, with uh, it being called The Wrath of the Bride. As you can imagine, it's a... Uh, could be a parody of uh, The Bride of Frankenstein. And when I first heard about this, my thought was, oh gosh, if we have a scene where Roadhog starts to woo Sombra, and it ends with him saying... You say we belong dead. I would have been just <laughs> going nuts about this. But that's not quite what happens. But I'll show you guys that uh, in just a bit. Uh, but first, in case you're wondering, for this event when it comes to the new stuff, you get a new s skin right from the bat, right off the bat, excuse me, for free. It's one for Reaper. It's this one right here. The Cursed Captain. <laughs> it's another very... Um, uh, oh gosh, um, Davy Jones type of skin, excuse me, took a moment for me to remember the name, uh, very Davy Jones-esque, I mean, he's got an octopus on his back, for goodness sakes. Now, what's funny is we already have a Davy Jones skin with Sigma, this one right here. So I was kind of surprised that they decided to go with a similar yet different version of this for, uh, Reaper. But, anyways, so that one we get for free. Like, it's just given when you log in. Then there are a few more skins, and here is where some of the problems arise with, of course, this free-to-play event. Um, as you can imagine, because it's a Halloween event, they then have these skins from the past events that perhaps you didn't get here available for you to acquire. As you can see, I have uh, the majority of these skins, if not all of them. Um including the ones that are used in the new event. But there are some new ones. For one thing, there is this new skin for Junker Queen called the Executioner. Pretty cool looking skin, kind of Mad Max-esque. And then there's this bundle here for Kiriko. She gets her own witch skin, just like Mercy. But then we have some other things here in this bundle, which is a weapons charm of a black cat, in case you want to have that on your weapon. She gets a new highlight intro. Very kind of anime-esque. A new name card and an icon. And it's 2,600 coins. And this is where it's like, okay, Blizz, look, I get it. it this game is now free to play. But seriously, you're asking us to pay $25 for this skin and these few extra items? Really? Like, $20 for a skin on its own is just kind of... Ugh, I don't like that. Like, that's that's just too much. It actually makes me miss how we could do it, where it's like, look, at least let me get loot boxes where I have a chance to just get it, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we used to spend a lot of money on the loot boxes back in the day because I would see people have big, like, loot box opening things. And, yeah, sometimes I would purchase, uh, like, a bundle of loot boxes to see when a new event started to see if I could get some of the new skins and even some other skins I had not gotten up to that point. But it also allowed you to get the currency to build up, which you could then use to spend on those skins, you know? Like, you know, you remember how that was. Where if you got duplicates, you got currency, and then you could use that currency to spend it on whatever skins you wanted. I thought that system was fine, because you were getting something in return. You're not really getting anything in return here, except for one aspect here. This right here. As far as I know, this is one of the only ways you can actually get this currency in the game, is to actually do these weekly challenges here. And I've already mentioned in the previous video I said about this, about how I thought this is kind of silly that the more challenges you do, the less you get. When it really should be the other way around. Like, if this was flipped, this would make more sense to me. I did four challenges, here's ten coins. You did eight challenges, oh, here's twenty coins. This is backwards, in my opinion. 
And I'm sure there's going to be people that agree with me on that. That that's how it should be. But it's just not. And I don't understand it. Anyways. Speaking of challenges, there are challenges specifically for the event which comes with other various rewards. Such as a name card. A weapons charm. And voice lines. As you can see, I've done a few of these already. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's essentially it when it comes to the new stuff added in. They don't have the thing here. Remember when a new event started and you could press the button here that says, hey, what's new uh, if, as part of this event? What's the new content that's been added to the Heroes Gallery and such? And you could look at specifically what was added into the game. And it's not here. It feels, I don't know, like backwards or they're, it's missing or... I don't really know what the explanation is behind that, but I really do not like that. I preferred it when it was a way, quick way for everyone to look at what exactly is new here. Now, of course, in the arcade, we have the previous Junkenstein modes. Junkenstein's Revenge, the original event! Which, And then, of course, you could do challenge missions and endless. Um, Here's one I want you guys to keep in mind right here. Vengeful Ghost. A deadly j ghost chases players. Now, this was a challenge for the original Junkenstein event. I want you to remember this challenge right here. Vengeful Ghost. Keep this in the back of your mind when I show you guys this new event we're doing, okay? But here's the new event. Junkenstein's Revenge! Wrath of the Bride! The Bride of Junkenstein has come to Aldersbrunn to avenge her fallen captain. Creator, four heroes must unite to stop her. In this one, we're actually going to get to have the three newest characters, Junker Queen, Sojourn, and Kiriko, and Ash. Now, I'm trying to remember. Okay, so the heroes you were part of back in the original event were Anna, Brigitta, Genji, Hanzo, Cassidy, Soldier, Torbjorn, Tracer, Widowmaker, Zenyatta. Those were the story characters you could play because they had their own lines of dialogue and such. It was actually really, really great. What I find funny is that they say that Ash is somehow tied to the previous event, and yet she wasn't. Be but she's going to be the one who's going to be like, Oh, I'll bet it's that Dr. Junkenstein. And I'm like, Ash, you weren't there. How would you know? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and we'll, we, of course, are going to do the story difficulty because I'm just showing you guys the event and the story. And it's I really it's really great. I, I really enjoy it. Plus, you'll notice each of these here says, Warning! Contains jump scares. And yeah, it does. There's a couple of jump scares uh, that I will admit, a couple of them I was just like, Whoa! <laughs> like, they actually kind of got to me a bit. Now, I've already done this event uh, twice, once as Ash and once as uh, Junker Queen. There's a challenge for doing it on all four characters. So I don't know if I'll do that again or not, but we'll see. Our tale continues in Adlersbrunn. Adlersbrunn, excuse me. Uh. All right, I'll play junk. A butcher who dealt in death and cadavers. Not long ago, four heroes slew the mad doctor Junkenstein and saved the lord of the castle. Tonight, in Zomnik haunted streets beneath the full moon's glow, four more heroes would face a new peril. They would suffer the wrath of the bride. Alright, so before I get underway here, let me uh, leave from their chat. Hoping to reunite with other survivors in the safety of the
over here. Glad to see other survivors. We won't last long out here. Let's get inside and figure this out. You owe me for this. Myself think with that radio blaring. The castle has fallen. Approach at your own peril. These messages. I hope everyone got out safe. Does anyone know what's going on here? I bet these Zomniks have something to do with the Lord of the Castle. And Dr. Junkenstein, no what doubt. What are we waiting for? Let's get to the castle. Kill that doctor to bits. The heroes set off toward the castle, and the howling wind rose. These zombies don't scare me! What about the one behind you? If you're trying to make me turn my back, so you can kill me and sell my corpse, it won't win. Yeah, you got me. Locked. Won't get to the castle without a key. My sight tells me it's somewhere nearby. I guess they must have uh, seen all the different uh, things there with the Banshee. Oh wait, hold on. Let's go win this thing. Nope. Where'd she go? Moira, get back here. No time for winching. Move out. The dreadful banshee lunges uh -huh. the screen of games and snatches the key from the king's hand. Drop that now. So if you get the key yourself, you get jump scared by Moira because she's a banshee. from my banshee friend. Hey! Who's yapping in my head? Do yourselves a favor. Stay away from the castle. Or else. Guess we found our culprit. Now to put a stop to her. Castle should be up this way. Does anyone else feel like we're being watched? Yeah! And I don't take kindly to people looking at me! Something is coming. Above us! On my way. High upon the ramparts, the gargoyles shatter their prisons and rain on the heroes below. Hi, 
Seriously? I blocked the path to the castle, so this is where your tale ends. Reckon I know another way through. Let's get to the dungeon. Should be a lever around here that'll open the secret passage. Do I want to ask how you... In the depths of the dungeon, the heroes fell under the hypnotizing gaze of the land. The reason why that's kind of a surprising and big deal is because, of course, uh, Sim was a boss in the previous uh, event. Isn't she? Seems the bride stoked her back to life. Well, she's dead again now. And the bride's next. Once we bust through this door. Step aside, gals. My dynamite will burn this door to the ground. Ooh. Oh. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this is a part of a challenge, but what exactly do we do here? On that dynamite outlaw. All right, just hold your horses. Castle doors. The heroes met only with shadows and looming fear. Well, we found it, but we found the room, but we didn't really know what to do, so. I was wondering where that room was. So remember that ghost challenge I mentioned? Yeah. 
It's a bastion! Junkenstein, even after his demise. And now she's returned to where it all ended. To finish what he started. What for? What else? Revenge. We need to find the Lord. Fast. Tires! Brought your A game, huh? Let me balance you out. <sighs> That's the Lord of the Castle. Hurry! Ah, she photobombed! That is a challenge, by the way. Because they know that we did that with the first event. But yeah, in case you can't tell, that's definitely Reinhardt. You can tell with the little crown on his head. And you can him going, PLEASE HELP ME! Wow, Samba, really? I can feel the bride's aura. She's so close. You can't let her flip any more switches. Think you can predict the one she'll pick next? I see her. Choosing the one you least expect. This is why people hate fortune tellers. Oh, your blood's so hot. Oh, get off of that switch. Efficient. I like it. More could Adlersbrunn rest soundly for now. <laughs> A dead play of the game, gotta love it. So we got a few challenges done during that. Complete seven games as heroes, not in your top three most played. Funny. Eliminate 35 bosses in the event and witness all seven Banshee moments in a single run of Wrath of the Bride. Which I guess was just us watching Moira just zip around uh, 
trying to figure out where to drop off the key. Not really sure where exactly how exactly that works, but yeah. Also, we clearly found because you'll let me go ahead and show you guys here. Because I knew about that room that it was somewhere I just didn't know where. Because you'll see that there is an event here. Ah, here it is. Uncover the fate of a terror past in a hidden corner of all Adlersbrunn in Wrath of the Bride. So we found the room, the hidden corner. We just didn't really know what to do in order to, you know, actually pull it off. I'll, I'll have to look it up or see, like, what someone says. Also, apparently, you're supposed to crouch at the lantern for six seconds when the ghost is active. I'm not really sure what exactly that, you know, like, which lantern it was referring to. But that's something I'm going to have to try and, I guess, figure out. So, complete twelve wave 12 and jump inside endless. Huh interesting so yeah there's more of these like hey just do the junkenstein challenge stuff but and let, eliminate the experiment while it is in tank form on hard or above ha huh. and yeah just win with all four and you'll get a new name title of nightfall over adlersbrunn and you can get spray for doing on harder difficulties, more XP, more XP. So I should at least try to do it on hard just to at least get a spray just because. And then you can see here, the more challenges you do, you'll then get another weapon charm, which, you know, I just got to destroy two more shock tires. And uh, I'll have to figure this out. What exactly this Witch's Brew one? Because other challenges that are already done, you saw that uh, I got a new voice line for Junker Queen, which is bodies to bag. Um, the, the door we were knocking on, the tavern, that was a challenge where we're supposed to disturb the guests. You get a voice line for Kiriko. Strike a pose with the bride during your introduction. That gets you the photo zom, uh, voice line here. There's the new voice line for Kiriko, which is, uh, tarot reading. And win Wrath the Bride without letting the Lord take any damage. So that's actually relatively easy on the story difficulty. And win with a score of 10,000 or higher gets you this spray as well. So that is the Wrath of the Bride event in Overwatch 2. It's going to last for a couple weeks. Um, you know, it's also a, a fun time to be able to just kind of like, once again, I've already equipped all of my Halloween skins on all the characters you can see here. I basically have a Halloween skin for every character from Overwatch 1. Other than, of course, the new characters. Like, I've got, you know, those for Orisa. I, I need to put this on for Okon. Hold on. See, here's the thing. There's only one skin here for Reinhardt. It's this one here. I never got it. <laughs> and now I'd have to spend that many coins just to get this skin. But, I'll, I mean, if I have to, I can use this one. But I'm just like, eh. So my excuse here is that Reinhardt is going trick-or-treating for Halloween as uh, Jim Rayner. That's my excuse for using this skin during the Halloween event. <laughs> what? <laughs> it just seems as good an explanation as any. Roadhog, of course, Junkenstein's monster. Sigma, of course, the Flying Dutchman. Winston, he's got, a, uh, I think, a couple. He, see, the thing is, they used the Gargoyle skin for that event, but yet he wasn't... That's not a Halloween skin. This is a Halloween skin, a werewolf. And I thought at some point a werewolf was just going to attack us, and that was going to be the story for Winston battling us. But no, they went with the Gargoyle route, apparently. You got the pumpkin skin for um, Hammond. <laughs> So, there's two Halloween skins for Zarya. There's this one, and then there's this one. And I'm just like, uh-uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> so I'm using the other one. Of course, Ash has the skin we just saw in the event here, which makes Bob look like that. Bastion has this, that skin, the coffin one. Cassidy, he has Van Helsing. Echo, of course, has a... Uh, well, she's got this vampire bat one, which I actually really like. I think it looks really cool. But she's also got this, what you just saw in the event. The ragdoll. It's called ragdoll, but it was the marionette. It's kind of creepy, that whole kind of, like, you know, doll thing. And there's just something about that I find kind of creepy. But this vampire bat one, I think, is actually really cool. I prefer that over the other one. Genji, well, I'm, of course, using the mythic skin. If there's... There are a couple of... Halloween skins for Genji. There's the skeleton skin, and then there's this one, Karasu Tengu, if I'm pronouncing that right. But but yeah, it's a pretty cool looking skin. If you want to go ahead and use that for Halloween, and I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I will go ahead and switch to this. But 
I mean, you know, when you got the, the mythic skin, you gotta rock it, right? Isn't that kind of a rule? <laughs> There's the Halloween skin for Hanzo, Tai Tengu. Junkrat, of course, Dr. Junkenstein. Mei, the uh, Jiangxi skin, of course. This is the newest skin for uh, Farah as part of the Battle Pass, the Sky Centurion. Uh, if I am going to swap, she's got a couple different ones. She's got Possessed, this one right here, which she looks like she's kind of like, I don't know, an undead. And then there's the Enchanted Armor, which also has her be like the Headless Horseman, because she doesn't have a head. So, I guess I'll go ahead and swap to that. And then Reaper, you know, he's got, uh, of course, this new one that came with the event, Cursed Captain, which is not necessarily labeled a Halloween skin. But, of course, he's got a couple of big ones. He's got, of course, the Pumpkin Skin and Dracula. But this is the newest skin, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. As for Sojourn, she obviously doesn't really have any. I've got the new Commando skin. She's got this, which was part of the event, Cyber Detective, but eh. Not really too fond of it. And then, of course, Slasher 76. And, of course, I've got the Bride skin for Sombra. Symmetra, she's got the Dragon skin. Torbjorn the Viking. Whom, whomsoever holds this hammer. If he be worthy, shall possess the powers of Torbjorn. <laughs> I can't help it. The Will-O-Wisp skin for a Tracer. The Scorpion skin for Widowmaker. The Mummy skin. There's actually another skin. She's got the Corsair one, this one right here. But honestly, I actually love the Mummy skin more. I think it looks really cool. Plus, I think I really like the way her rifle looks as well. Baptiste, he has the vampire skin, He's a, and that's basically it for Halloween for him. Brigitte, she has the vampire hunter skin. Very cool looking. Kiriko, she, well, as you guys know, she's got the new witch skin, but I don't have that yet, because I'm not, I don't really feel like spending 25 bucks on a skin, Blizzard. Lucio's got the satyr skin. Mercy has, the, well, she's got the, uh, hold on. I didn't swap this, my bad. So, it's because I had her newest skin from the Battle Pass, this one right here, Miko. But uh, this is probably my favorite skin for Mercy, the Dragoon. I really love this dragon armor type of skin. But honestly, I really should go ahead and swap to her witch skin. That's her very famous uh, Halloween skin here. So Moira, of course, the Banshee that we fought. And then last but not least, of course, the Cultist skin for Zenyatta. So, yeah. Those are uh, the Halloween skins, which I've already swapped to. I've already also swapped to any of the highlight intros. And, of course, the um, victory poses, such as uh, either with a pumpkin or rip. <laughs> and, of course, guys like Reaper have his Halloween highlight intro, like Eternal Rest. <laughs> I've yet to try the new skin in a game. I'm going to try and do that at some point. So, anyways... That is the new Halloween Terror Bri Wrath of the Bride event for Overwatch 2. Feel free to check it out for the next couple of weeks. And I will see you guys next time.